Hello and a very warm welcome. Now, huge praise to Formula One. The testing coverage has been outstanding. I'm absolutely loving it. I can't heap praise on them enough. It was a disgrace last season. There's no getting away from it. You give us the first test, we can watch it live on TV, but then I, we get a massive kick in the balls. You can watch the first test, but we can't watch the second test. We have all six days live uninterrupted coverage it's sensational and f1 formula one should hold their head up high from fom the cameramen the media everyone who's brought us coverage should hold their head up high because this is what a formula one fan wants to see all six days covered every single lap we're not going to miss it it's sensational it should happen every year there's no excuse for it the team the media the mechanics, everyone's there as if it's a normal race weekend at testing. So there's no excuse. We should see this every single year. I've heard Sebastian Vettel complaining about the cameras. Um, it's too much and all this. This is what the fans want. We want to see testing. It's absolutely brilliant. If you go out in the morning to work, you can come back and you can join up, catch up on it. Or you could uh, watch it, then go out. Watch it, come back. I mean, it's absolutely brilliant. All six days, awesome. Every single year, this should happen. There's no excuses now. You've done it this season. We need to say it 2021 and so on. This is sensational. Eight hours of coverage. We have four hours in the morning, eight till 12, one till five. And this is eight hours of no adverts. It's basically four hours of F1, four hours of F1. Wrap it up, eight hours in a day of Formula One, uninterrupted. It's absolutely brilliant. We don't even get that on a, on a practice session, on a normal race weekend. So, big shout out. No screens. They've introduced this rule this season. So, even when they're in the garage, we can still see the cars. Unless they're taking the floor off, then they can put the screens up. Perfect coverage. We get to see the lap times, the lap count. The positions, no adverts. The commentary is superb. You've got the likes of Ted Kravitz, Lives, Breathes Formula 1, Will Buxton, Formula GP2 commentator, now is working for F1. Jolian Palmer, Formula F1 driver, former F1 driver. Uh, Alex Jakes, GP2 commentator. Then you've got the likes of Rosanna Tennant, who obviously I'm going to be a massive praise of her. Uh, she should stay in Formula 1 forever. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, Laura. I forget her surname. Is it Laura Winter? It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. You, we see the cars clear as day. More info. Lap counts. Lap times. The coverage is sensational. We've had no issues. Buffering or the screen going down. Coverage going down. It, I can't speak highly enough of it. Perfect for an F1 fan. An F1 fan. I have a dedicated Sky Formula 1 channel for Formula 1. I have to have the sports channels for football. I have to have the Formula 1 channel. And a Formula 1 channel, it's dedicated to Formula 1. We should be seeing this every single year. And they've brought us all six days in, un in un uninterrupted. Bloody hell, if I could get my words out. Um, it's sensational. I mean... The Formula One channel's there, so let's see the testing, and we've got to see it. I was fuming last year and did a rant about it, because you give us the first test, but then you kick us in the balls and don't give us the second test. This uh, test was meant to be eight days. Obviously, it's been chopped to six. We see every single lap, every single minute, every single red flag, every single incident. Only positive things to say about the coverage. I'm absolutely buzzing and I want to see it next year and the year after and every single year now because there's no excuses. You've brought it to us this year and it should just continue like it is. It's absolutely brilliant. Like I don't even have a negative about it. How can I have a negative? I'm a hardcore F1 fan. I want to see the testing. Obviously, if I was a millionaire, I'd be out there live in Barcelona, but that's not possible. I 
have a huge shout out to the media, Formula One, FOM, everyone who's covering it. But I will be doing a ramp video about Hockenheim not being on the calendar, so look out for that. That I am not happy about at all. But as for the testing, Formula One testing 2020, it's been absolutely sensational. I haven't got a bad word to say. And Formula One should hold their head up high. They've given the fans what they want. We want to see the testing. And there's no excuse for you not to bring us testing. Especially when we've got the F1 channels here. We're subscribed. We're paying monthly to watch Formula One. I'll never get bored of watching F1. The more F1 we can see, the better as far as I'm concerned. Testing may be boring to some people. But I'm not bored. I mean, they've slashed the days down. So we're seeing running, running, running. So... Testing's been very good this year. We, when Usually they maybe would be sat in the garage, but because they've got only got six days, they're out there. Putting the laps in, putting the laps in, putting the laps in. And honestly, I am currently doing this video as we're on like a lunch break of it, Friday afternoon. Just watched the first morning session. On day three. I'm absolutely buzzing with this. I'm buzzing with it. The testing coverage for Formula 1. F1 testing 2020 has been absolutely sensational. Honestly. I cannot even express how delighted I am. That all six days is live on TV. What a contrast from last year to this year. I was fuming last year. Because we get the first test and... No second test, but we've got it all this season. And it should remain from here till the end. Well, Formula 1's never going to end, I hope. But there's no excuse that we shouldn't be having all the days covered in 2021 with the massive rule changes. Superb Formula 1. Hold your head up high. FOM, the media, the camera crew. It's sensational. I'm buzzing. And I can't wait in 20 minutes time till we get underway again for the lunch. After lunch, four more hours. That'll be the first test done. Then next week we go on to the second test. But big shout out Formula One. Sensational. It's what we wanted. You delivered. You keep the fans happy. Liberty Media as well. Big shout out. Big shout out everyone. The teams, the mechanics, the media crew. Big shout out everyone. Brilliant.